The normal size of the liver depends on a person's age, gender, and body habitus. In an adult, the liver usually measures 8 to 12 centimeters in the midclavicular line. Enlargement of the liver beyond the normal expected size is termed hepatomegaly. A palpable liver does not always mean liver pathology. A normal liver can be felt in certain circumstances, such as in really slender individuals, or in cases where respiratory pathology has caused downward displacement of the liver. The span of the liver should be estimated using percussion to determine the upper border and percussion or palpation to find the lower border. Hepatomegaly may be a sign of an underlying pathological process. The causes of hepatomegaly are many, but can be grouped into the following categories. Congestive. This may be seen in right heart failure, Bud Chiari syndrome, or sinusoidal obstruction syndrome. Infiltrative. This includes benign and malignant causes. Abnormalities in the metabolism and storage of substances such as lipids, glycogen, and protein can lead to liver enlargement. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is the most common, and rarer causes include glycogen storage disorders and amyloidosis. Malignancies can metastasize to the liver, and hematologic malignancies such as lymphoma can diffusely infiltrate the liver. Infectious. Hepatitis C and hepatitis B are common viral infections, and Epstein-Barr virus frequently causes hepatosplenomegaly. Inflammatory. Alcoholic hepatitis presents with liver enlargement and other signs of liver failure. Other non-infectious causes of chronic liver disease, including hemochromatosis, autoimmune hepatitis, primary biliary cholangitis, and primary sclerosing cholangitis, can also cause hepatomegaly. Be sure to ask about risk factors for and symptoms of chronic liver disease. The management of hepatomegaly depends on the underlying etiology. A thorough history and physical examination will give you most of the clues to make a diagnosis. Investigations such as liver enzymes, ultrasound, CT or MRI imaging, and if needed a liver biopsy, can help you confirm the diagnosis and develop a management strategy.